Hey guys, this is Alan with the Grilling Network. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing of my brand new vacuum sealer that I purchased. It's a Weston uh, Pro 2300 and we're going to go ahead and do that now. Um, we all have, or most of us that do this have like food savers and the problem with food savers are that the seals tend to wear out easily and that's what's happened to me and I've been through a couple of them and I'm just tired of, you know, getting a food or saver and food bags and then all of a sudden the, the, th uh, the food saver fails on you. Um, we'll go ahead and finish unboxing this here. Let's see here. Alright. This thing weighs about 20 pounds. It's going to be a beast. Did some research online up with this and um, this is like one of the best ones that, that are out there. And of course it's seeing the pain. What we're going to go ahead and do is finish unboxing this and I'll go ahead and show you how this bad boy works. So stick around. Okay. As you can see, we've unboxed the uh, vacuum sealer. Um, this is much easier than your typical uh, food saver or vacuum sealer. It's pretty much got a stop, manual seal, and start. There's none of the other options with, you know, if it's got moist food, dry food, whatever. This is extremely easy. It automatically shuts off when it uh, sucks all the air out. So it's got a much wider space for you to put uh, larger bags. It's up to 15 inches uh, wide uh, all the way down to you know the smallest bags come. That was the only drawback that I um, didn't like about the uh, this model is it didn't come with any sample bags but you know I went ahead and purchased some because uh, I was going to use a lot of it anyway so we'll go ahead and uh, give it a test run and we'll do that next. All right, guys. We've uh, went shopping and uh, have some uh, fresh uh, hamburger. That's 80/20. And the way to do this um, is quite simple. A fellow YouTuber, uh, SoCal uh, Pepper. I'll put his link in there. He had a good idea or suggestion on how to do a few of these things. I'm going to show you. And I've got a pound of burger. And we're going to do that next, right here. And what he recommended and is normally I just would do it like this, but uh, his suggestion was to flatten it out. And what that allowed it to do is when you're thawing out the meat, when you're thawing out the meat, it thaws out a lot faster if it's, you know, this thin like here. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So again, I'm just going to turn it on and it's almost ready to go. So just raise it up, place it in there like so, hold it down and then just hit start. And that easy. Just like that guys. And if you can see, it's got a nice bead where the, it sealed it. We're gonna go ahead and do a couple steaks. Uh, has some T-bones, and one of the other tips that he had, which I thought was outstanding, was using a paper towel. Let's see if we can get this in here. Maybe a little bigger bag, but and what you do is you use a paper towel, fold it in quarters like this and you place it underneath here just like that so when it vacuums the juices that normally come out will absorb into the paper towel so again just close it up hit start and it's a perfect seal Right there, guys. 
Okay, so that's my brand new uh, vacuum sealer. Uh, again, guys, it's the Weston Pro 2300 vacuum sealer. Um, I think I'm going to love this and get many years of use out of this. So again, guys, thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel and my unboxing of this uh, vacuum sealer. And until next time, guys, we'll see you out in the grill.